If you've skated in the streets at all, I'm sure you've come across ledges that are just way too crusty that you can't skate. No matter how much wax you put into it, the ledge just does not go. So today I'm gonna to teach you how to get any ledge skatable with only two main tools, and it's gonna be the easiest way possible. So let's get into it. So this is the ledge here I'm gonna be working on today, and you might recognize this spot as the big three block here. So this ledge used to have skate stoppers, as you can see here. I don't know who's taken them out, but they haven't finished making the ledge skatable. They've just taken the skate stoppers out. I'm gonna fill the gaps, which is optional. You guys don't have to do this, but I'm gonna take you through the steps of doing this. So this is the spot today. So the main two items you're gonna to need to make any ledge spot skatable, this is your number one friend right here. This is called a rub brick. I got this from Bunnings for like $25. I already had this one, I've already used it before as you can tell, but I didn't go and buy a new one because this one is still good. So rub brick is what you're gonna need. This is pretty much what's gonna make a rough ledge like this smooth. So you're just taking back the rough edge and getting it down to the smooth raw concrete. So that's step one of what we're gonna to do today. And then the next thing after that is gonna be any type of clear coat and so I've got this one here, satin clear. It's like a big, nice clear coat that you put over the top of it. It makes the concrete so polished that after you wax it, it's just perfectly smooth to grind. So you're rubbing it back to raw concrete and then you're spraying down a nice clear coat to make that the base of the ledge. So it's gonna be nice and polished. And the optional thing here, I've got this poly ledge repair. So this is what's gonna fill those gaps. You don't have to get this brand, but these are some skaters from Melbourne that created this brand. You can get JB World from like Bunnings or any kind of hardware store. So I'll link those below so you know where to get all of this stuff here, but that's what we're gonna need. So luckily for me, this ledge is already pretty smooth and polished besides the rough edge that's here. So I'm just going to rub brick pretty much the angle of the ledge just to try and get that rough edge off. So when people are grinding, it's going to be smoother. But usually you want to rub brick the length of your tail. So if you're doing those and the tail slides here and then enough for your wheels to slide on the side too. And then obviously the harsh edge, but because this one's beveled, I've actually chosen not on purpose, but this is a really good ledge for me to do this. It's going to be super easy. When you do this, you want to wear a mask because you don't want to be breathing in the raw cement dust. But I forgot to bring one, so hopefully it doesn't make too much dust because I'm not doing too much. So another thing you need is like a little dustpan broom or a blower or a broom or something because once you rub brick it, if you don't dust it off and you get all the cement dust off of the ledge, once you start lacquering or waxing it, all of that cement dust is just gonna go back into the ledge and you've kind of just wasted your time rub bricking it. Actually so glad I had my blower on me. I dusted it all off and thought it was sweet and so much dust just came out of the cracks and off the ledge. So now I know it's nice and clean to go. I'm gonna start using the poly repair stuff. This isn't what this video is about, but I'm gonna teach you guys how to use this anyway and then I'll do the lacquer next. So this stuff is great. If you don't already have some, you should get some of this stuff. It dries in 10 minutes after you mix it up and it's like a putty that goes hard. It's just as strong as steel, so it's so easy to use. So it comes in this big tube. The inside is a darker gray than the outside. Either the middle is the hardener or the outside is the hardener, but when you break it off and start mixing it, it starts forming and then you can mold it to whatever shape you want. And then it hardens within like 10 minutes so you can skate straight away. So this stuff is perfect. So I'm gonna run through all the cracks and do that now. I was just fixing the holes in the ledge. I was just myself. What are you doing that for? I've been skateboarding here for years and I'm just trying to keep this place kind of clean and neat. We've been coming here since we were a kid. Because people have ripped out the, yeah, they the metal oh, and it's like created from, gouges. Yeah, right, from the skateboard? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Well, we've That's got right. a gardener, you know, who does the blowing. Yeah. But, um, Doesn't look just, like it. <laughs> I know. But no, it's it does got get windy some, though. Yeah, but also he's got such a huge area to cover. Yeah. All good, thank you. You too, see ya. Thought I was getting busted then, but technically I am repairing this ledge, so I'm doing them a favor. All the gaps are looking pretty good now. I did my best to get it as flush as possible. This one was hard because of massive gouge on the side, but I used a lot of it. Oh geez, that's already so hard. Can you hear that? This stuff sets so well. But yeah, I didn't do like all the way into the grooves on that one or on that one. Because your wheels will ride across that, but it's not gonna stop you from grinding. Oh, that's like fully solid now. 
See, this stuff dries so quick. So I rub bricked it, I dusted it off. I've done the poly repair into the cracks, which is already set now, like it's crazy. I could skate this right now if I wanted to, but I haven't done the lacquer yet. And since I just kind of got busted for doing this, I might just give it one layer of lacquer and then get out of here before I cause any more trouble or attention to myself today. So it's been about two months since I've been back here. I've just been so busy over the Christmas period. This is the next step. You need to try and break the ledge in and wax it because once you've rub bricked it and lacquered it, it's almost like it's a brand new polished cement. So that's where you need to wax it and break it in to get it grinding and sliding. I've only got a little bit of wax, but hopefully that works. And then try and get a little session on this thing. It seems to grind well when I put my board on it. It's actually really smooth and it glides well, but it'll be different once I've got my full body weight on it. So I'm gonna try and have a quick warm up and then I'll show you guys my first grind when I get back to the ledge. so smooth and slippery but I haven't skated for like a week and a half. I'm gonna get it this try. So the ledge is actually grinding so well, like it's such a smooth beveled edge now. So the rub brick and the lacquer really does work. And it's also really cool that you can start, if I'm skating backside, I start from the lower side and it's a bigger drop. Or if I want to skate front side, which I suck at, I'm going to have to ollie from the actual ground up the gutter end to it. I told you guys it was going to work. I've done this on a few ledges now and it just makes it so much smooth, so much more buttery, like on a ledge that was pretty much unskatable before this. So just to recap, you need a rub rig, which is about $25 from Bunnings and you need, I use the exterior clear gloss can, which was $15 from Bunnings. So that's $40 already and you can make any ledge skatable, but you can get the concrete paving sealer buckets and just paint it on the ledge, depending on how big it is. So rub brick it down to the smooth cement again, blow all the dust away. You Use the lacquer to make it a polished smooth cement. Come back after it's set after an hour or a day, depending on how many layers you've done. And then wax it, wear the ledge in, and it's good to go. So I'm gonna try and do a few more tricks on this and have a little bit more session. But if you like this video, check out my DIY skate park playlist right up here. Let me know what other DIY stuff you wanna see or how to prep any other street spots. Write that in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.